Inside every plant, there is a hidden river, bringing water and nutrients upwards. Without this river, without this movement of water, the life stops and plant dies. So what is it? It is transpiration. Transpiration, where the plant moves water upwards, moving nutrients with it, opening stomata, which are uh, taking part in the process of uh, collecting sun rays and keeping the plant cool. So these are three main benefits of uh, the movement of water upwards through the stems. And plants, well hydrated plants, are happy plants, like my uh, hydrangea here. Boy, this girl has it good here in the garden because it is growing very close to my water source here. I'm very often here and I water it well. So these stems are so nice and strong hydrated. So let's talk about transpiration. Another garden rule which all plants obey. I love this garden knowledge, you know, it helps me to understand why plants behave the way they behave and as a result to minimize uh, the failure in the garden or mistakes, sometimes very costly mistakes. So transpiration. Majority of water, approximately 95%, which is moving upwards through the stems, is lost through the stomata. And stomata are a little openings uh, on the underside of uh, leaves. And, and if the plant is healthy, well hydrated, all the stomata are opened. This transpiration helps not only to cool down the plant and move uh, uh, the nutrients upwards from the root system, but also when stomata are opened, they take part in photosynthesis. So, collecting all the rays of the sun, that's another good reason why this process is happening in the stems, to help the plant live and collect sun rays. But let's say our plant is experiencing drought. There's not enough water in the soil, right? Stomata are being closed, starting to close partially or altogether because plant wants to save, um, evap you know, that evaporation cannot happen. The transpiration, the movement of water cannot happen as fast as uh, uh, with plants which are well hydrated. So as a result, the nutrients are not moving upwards from the root system into the plant. Plant gets yellow leaves, stunted growth and can even die, right? The soil is dry, plant is getting very weak and can die eventually. Um, so the watering, the good advice is to water plants in the morning and to water plants as ni at night is a mistake. Why is it? Well, during the day, all the processes in the, in the plant, including transpiration, uh, they are activated and in the evening they're slowing down for the night. So when we water plants in the morning, they are well hydrated to meet the heat of the day. But when we water them in the evening, very often that water is not moved actively through the stems upwards because it's night. It sits at the root system in the soil, making it uh, waterlogged. Well, it depends on what soil you have. Here in Connecticut, we are blessed with very sandy soil, which can be a dual blessing, right? Can be negative, but we never have uh, waterlogged conditions, so I don't worry about it. Sometimes I water in the evening and my water disappears, like in and out. But people with clay soil, the good rule is to water in the morning because in the evening that water sits in the soil and the roots of the plant they do need oxygen they not only need water they also need oxygen to be able to push water upwards so you see in the evening we water that water sits there uh, uh, too much water impacts the roots, they're suffocating, they cannot do, do their job pushing water upwards and again plant is suffering. So a good suggestion if you can water in the morning your garden not in the evening. If you have been looking, looking for a ride that's stable, powerful and easy to store you might consider this Viribus FC2 electric folding tricycle. This is such a great tricycle for people who do not want to give up their freedom. They still want to go out and explore the world. So look at me. I'm just putting my legs through the frame. I sit down on a well-cushioned seat. I do have my back support. And um, the tricycle is not moving anywhere because it's a tricycle. It has three wheels. I can ride looking at nature and reach my destination. Plus, I can do all the transportation of goods 
uh, on this tricycle thanks to very good compartments this big one at the back the rear one and the front one wonderful what I like about this trike is that it is equipped with great uh, safety features here so my back mi uh, mirrors I can see what's happening in the back I don't need to turn around and look uh, three wheels are equipped with brakes there are seven gears and the loveliest thing and my husband I know he would be jealous of it when we are going for our rides this battery because you if you choose you can uh, use this tricycle uh, as a tricycle not electrical one and you can pedal away exercise get those muscles in shape or you can use pedal assist where you pedal but you have that nice lovely push or you can relax all together and use your battery battery does the job for you and you are just gliding through enjoying everything you don't need to look where you're going you don't need to balance like you're driving on the bike right you're riding a bike this is a tricycle Viribus company is kindly providing five percent discount on the purchase so check the link in the description and one more thing the last wonderful thing this tricycle is folding so storage is great it folds right here and literally it becomes half of this size love it because that's how I'm going to store it in my garage then a lot of gardeners neglect windy days wind usually takes more moisture out of plant than usual during usual on windy days and uh, more watering is needed very often gardeners overcrowd their plants and believe me everybody was there every beginner gardener is not looking at the spacing like uh, uh, three feet right because they don't want to see all that bare soil between the plants young plants so they do this spacing and then they suffer because plants are growing and they overcrowd each other so what happens in that situation leaves cannot turn towards the sun because they are on top of each other the evaporation is not happening well the air the moisture is not escaping through the storm stomatas uh, the air is getting all congested and humid there it's an invitation for fungal diseases and plants suffer again so not only fungal diseases are joining in but the plant cannot breathe well well breathe it's the human in human terms but the plant cannot release all that water because uh, all the air is stuck between the leaves leaves cannot turn towards the sun stomatas cannot open well and it's not a good idea so good garden practice is restrain yourself i know it's hard we want our gardens beautiful right away but we have to follow the mature planting size when we do our planting like for example i know my hydrangea here this girl is going to be huge here it probably will reach this height very quickly maybe next year because of perfect conditions here and with good hydration hydration and semi shade hydrangea would be very happy no more no drought chance of drought here and as we know hydrangeas love uh, uh, moisture in the soil two more mistakes and two uh, good practices which can we uh, which we can use in our garden so the first mistake people very often walk on the, uh, the garden soil especially soil around the plants in flower beds why is that is discouraged to do because we compact the soil and when the soil is compacted the air pockets decrease and our not our plant roots need the air for good growth not only the water but also air pockets for good growth roots need to breathe and when that air decreases because we keep walking around our plants especially during soggy spring days when soil is very uh, prone to compact and release those air pockets out plants suffer again because roots cannot push the water successfully out again we have nutrients deficiencies and plants suffer so we are not walking around our plants leaving all that uh, good soil around them and even if the soil is compacted after several months of not walking on it you will notice a difference the air warms the earthworms are doing all the job and they uh, aerate the soil and the soil becomes nice and fluffy eventually without our walking around and the last oh beautiful wind and uh, the last good practice and mistake is not using mulch i know american gardeners love mulch and they are using uh, mulch in their gardens extensively 
So, when we are not using mulch, when there is bare soil around the plants, what happens? Again, that evaporation is too fast from the soil and plants struggle because transpiration has to happen no matter of what. And if there is not enough water in the soil, it evaporates too fast through the soil without mulch cover, plants suffer again. So, not only using mulch this level, you know, use a good amount of mulch to cover the soil, keep it shaded, keep it, uh, trap that moisture in so the moisture doesn't evaporate as fast and as a result our plants are happy. So this is about transpiration, video number four in 10 video series on 10, pl mm, 10 rules, plants never break in the garden. I will see you in our next video. Happy gardening!